to meet you, it's Andrew Prone again, and this is a video review on an Android app called AirDroid, and it basically allows you to transfer files from your computer to your phone over Wi-Fi, and um, it's really cool because you can transfer pictures and apps and basically any other file, which is quite nice without having to use a cable, and it's basically all free. So let's go ahead and show you the app. I am running Galaxy S3 launcher. It's pretty fast. Um, there we go, AirDroid. You hear not to connect. That makes that sound. Okay, so there's different ways to connect. One, you can actually use this. You can open, the, open up this address, which you have to do for both methods, anyways. But it's almost easier if you just scan the QR code. But I'm gonna do the one where you have to put in the code because it's quite fast. It's faster and it's I don't know. It's it's more sure, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our computer and type okay, that in. Okay, we're the back and we're gonna go ahead and put in the code right here on the website that I just typed in. It shows you. It shows you what the um, website is up here, or it shows it in the app what you have to type in, so that's not too hard to get to. And it's basically always the same website, so only thing that's going to be different is the password, but that's a given. Hopefully, it doesn't close. 9PC. Okay, that obviously wasn't right. Go ahead, log in. And obviously, you heard it connect. Um, this is going to be your desktop kind of thing. You can see right here everything is basically from your phone on here, your contacts, music, photos, files, and so on. Um, you have your details on your phone, how many apps you have. I do not know I have that many apps. I don't think I have that many apps. It's probably include, that probably includes system apps. but Contacts, yeah, photos, all that. I used to have more that's on my other phone, more music on my other phone. Um, I don't know what this does. I think this is a browser. I'm not quite sure. Clipboard. Let's go ahead and save something. Save device. Save. Oh, I see what it does. You can basically copy and paste things in here, and it'll save it to your device's clipboard. So you can copy and paste links, I guess. Uh, frequent contacts. That's what you would expect. I'm not going to show you that because obviously it has people's numbers, and I don't want you to get their numbers. Music um, works. You can actually play it. I think. Can you play it? Oh, that's obviously not supported for some reason. I don't know. But oh, here you go. Yeah, you can play. You can actually play them in the thing. That's that's cool. That's pretty cool. Photos works. You can view all your photos. Let's see if I can show you a photo. Yeah, there's a picture of me from like a long time ago. That works. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and close that. Um, apps. You can go ahead and back up your apps by selecting them here, and you can download them. And then once you have them, you can reinstall them. System apps. You don't really need a backup of those. Um, messages, that's cool. My, my friends are here. You can actually uh, make a new message. You can always move around these windows, and you can type. You can type whoever you want. I don't know. Who, I'm not gonna show people's numbers on there, but you can go ahead and just type, and you can actually get text on here. Like it'll text you back to the computer. That works. Ringtones, that's what you would expect. Your phone, you can, you can um, download them again install them whatever or upload them videos that's given that's that's just a given what that is you can play them I think can you play them let's go ahead and see if we can play this you'd have to download that that's that's cool but otherwise it works um, call logs that has people's numbers contacts people's numbers screenshots quite nice um, what it what it is gonna do is gonna have to show you a prompt on your phone to um, if you had to be rooted to do screenshots but it'll ask you if you wanna allow it to allow or to decline and I allow it of course because you know rooting is cool and all that now we're gonna go ahead and just move around a little bit we're on the Galaxy S3 launcher and it's not made for video it's made for screenshots so we'll go ahead and take a screenshot right here that'd be nice yup take the screenshot it's gonna load it's gonna load and there's a screenshot I already took one earlier um, here we go you can basically just look at it on your computer it downloads it automatically that is quite nice I don't know what this is. Oh, refresh. Okay, that's obvious. Um, yeah, it recommends. This is basically just your apps that, that, that um, from the App Store that I it, I guess that's what this re recommends it from my um, apps. I'm gonna get that. That's pretty cool. Right there, iPhone notifications. Just saying. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. But um, yeah, hope you guys like the video. Uh, go ahead and su su uh, comment, subscribe, and you know, like the video. And even if you like it super, super, super much, then you can go ahead and favorite it, and that'll be awesome. Thanks for watching.